Welcome to Electron Line. Now that we have a pretty good idea what limits are and how to find limits of functions and so forth, now let's go ahead and do some examples of various types that you may run into. So here we're going to take the limit as x approaches negative 4 of this particular function. And if we try to plug in negative 4 directly into the function, you will find, find out that you probably get something that is indeterminate. So let's go ahead and try that. So let's go ahead and plug in negative 4 and see what we get. So this is equal to negative 4 squared plus 5 times negative 4 plus 4 divided by negative 4 squared plus 3 times negative 4 minus 4. And if you, I probably don't even need a calculator, but just in case, let's try that. That would be 16 minus 20 plus 4. That would be equal to 0 divided by 16 minus 12 minus 4. That would be 0. Yes, you would get 0 divided by 0, which is undefined. So at first you would say there's no such thing as limit to this, but be careful because we can say this is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 4, and when we factor the numerator, we get x plus 4 times x plus 1. If we factor the denominator, we will get x, uh, let's see here, x uh, plus 4 times x minus 1. All right, let's see if that's correct. We get negative 4. Yep, that is correct. Now you can see that you can factor the x plus 4. They cancel out. So now we take the limit of that. So now we can go ahead and plug in the limit. So this is equal to negative 4 plus 1 divided by negative 4 minus 1, which is equal to negative 3 divided by negative 5, which is equal to 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is the limit of this function as x approaches negative 4. Again, at first it would appear that there is no such solution, but if you then first factor and then cancel out what's common, then we can go ahead and find the limit. And that's how it's done.